So I just spent all my money on this house and took out a bunch of loans. My mortgage payment is over $5,000 every single month. And I also took out, again, probably over like $800,000 in debt to close this house. Thankfully, it does actually cash flow already. It makes $6,300, but as you can see, this place is quite a bit of disrepair. It needs some, some work done. So if you just look here, all this shelving is pretty bad. These walls aren't really done very well. These tiles aren't put in. But that's kind of like what we get paid for as landlords. You know, people really hate on us, but we also do do a service, which is take care of the property. Of course, I'm not a super wealthy person, so I don't just have the time and money to just go in and get this going pretty much immediately. But, you know, over time, as I live here and take care of the place, um, it'll get better. I bought these things to get started, so I have a mattress at least that I'm gonna sleep on. Got some power tools from Walmart. That should pretty much take care of everything. For security purposes, I have my camera, and I have my lock, and I have a few bits. And as I keep on collecting rent, making sure I can hold this place and not go bankrupt, I am gonna get it ready um, as I live in here. I know this place is gonna be beautiful because I've not this wouldn't be my first time fixing up a home. I know I can make it look nice even though there's a lot of issues. And there's actually some foundational stuff we even need to take care of. Um, but I love this, you know, it's kind of cool being able to provide spaces for people to live in. Um, and I just thought that this video might be helpful for anyone who's kind of nervous about buying their first real estate investment. Just know that, yeah, that, that first things aren't so great. And it looks kind of scary, you know. There's a hole in this door right here. <laughs> There's dripping wall faucets and stuff. But over time, again, as you live here with time and investing money into these places, um, you can own a home. The American dream still is technically alive. Um, you just have to be a little more creative now. Um, it's no longer as easy as it used to be unless you already have a job that makes like maybe $500,000 every single year. Um, but again, like living in a place where most of my friends I feel like would be embarrassed to live in. <laughs> um, I think it's okay. And I think it's worth the fight. And I think at the end of the day, it's going to be really fun and rewarding. So I just wanted to pop on and do this video because I haven't done one in a very long time. And eventually I probably will move out of this, this unit and go to another one and get them a little bit nicer. Um, just so I can make sure that this property is safe and beautiful for anyone who ever wants to live here. Um, if you wanted to know, all I'm really using to get started again is this mattress, which I'm gonna be sleeping on, these tools, a bunch of bits I got on like Black Friday sale and this lock and schlage. I'm gonna be painting this whole house white. Um, I already had a problem with the water here where <laughs> it's kind of funny where it's actually plugged into like one of the outlets in the laundry room outside there. Um, and the first day I got here, I was surprised with that. And because I wasn't used to the layout of the landscaping yet, I actually tripped on something and sprained my ankle. So that wasn't very fun. But these are just things we go through as real estate investors when you're starting off. Of course, it's never gonna, it's not gonna always be like this. Uh, later on, as you have more money, you can go ahead and hire people, get some extra help to make sure that you're not just a one man team. But hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you guys want to see more of this transformation um, and if anything I'm teaching here is useful for you, um, it'd be uh, much appreciated if you hit the subscribe and like button and let me know if there's anything you want me to answer. I mean, again, this is technically not my first rehab. I've done quite a, f a few and by a few, I mean maybe like five, <laughs> but they're all, all on cheaper houses. This is, again, probably the most expensive house I've ever done, but... I'm also going to be living here and I'm very proud of what I own.